advertising. At this point, it's not that rare to see Ubuntu and ad in the same sentence. I'm going to take this MSI hat off. Every so often, the idea of ads in apt is back in the news. And this time, it is for an absolutely hilarious reason. So we have this post right here. So, news about significant security updates, features, and services will appear here to raise awareness and perhaps tease r slash Linux. Use pro config set app news equals false to hide this and future app news. Now, the important part here is if you don't want to see these ads, you can go and hide them as much as you want. But this sent r slash Linux a little bit, um, apoplectic. What the frick are people doing at Canonical? I do not want stupid freaking messages in my terminal. I'm seriously considering ditching Ubuntu from all my machines next install. My OS is not yours to do with as you please, and especially not yours to write childish messages in my freaking terminal. Do we need to start switching away from Ubuntu now? This stunt is very unprofessional. Who the frick approved this at Canonical? To people who see this in their terminal and don't know what this is already about, it will look like some script kitty hacked them. I think the word unprofessional is apt. Sorry. Anyway, Nix is about tools and apt is an extremely important tool they've polluted three times very recently. Unexplained phased updates, Ubuntu Pro ad, Reddit joke. If they want to frick with people, they should use social media, not their software. Enter all of those people and others all I have to say is please touch some grass. Now, most people were not freaking out. Most people were just like, this really doesn't matter. I don't know why people are getting angry. But one of those people mentioned an Ubuntu Pro ad. So this message in apt is actually a response to the response from their previous message, which is this one right here. So receive additional future security updates with Ubuntu Pro. Learn more about Ubuntu Pro at this link right here. Now I'll get into what Ubuntu Pro is in just a moment, but I've looked over the opinions of what this message feed is, I've looked at how it is being used, and I'm really struggling to see why people are actually getting so angry about this. And I don't like Ubuntu as much as the next person, but there doesn't seem to be anything to be angry about. This message feed is being used in the way that you would expect a distro to be using it, especially a corporate distro, which is what Ubuntu is and has always been. Now, one thing we could argue is the way the message of the day was being used a couple of years back had no place being in a distro. So that was this one right here. If you've been waiting for the perfect Kubernetes dev solution, for macOS, the wait is over. Learn how to install micro KS on macOS, and then links to this Tech Republic article. This shouldn't be getting advertised in Ubuntu. This is about macOS, this is about Kubernetes, and it's linking to something that has nothing to do with Canonical's resources. This I totally get that people were going to be angry about. Or you go even further back when, by default, Ubuntu was shipping an Amazon web app. And at the time, a lot of people were worried their data was now being sold to Amazon. I totally get being angry about this as well. But this Ubuntu Pro thing is entirely different. Ubuntu Pro. Same great OS more security updates. Now, with a name like Ubuntu Pro, it sounds like a weird paid subscription service, maybe like a big box price. It's some sort of service where you give Canonical money and they do something with Ubuntu. And that's kinda true, but not 100% the case. So much like everything Red Hat does, it is a paid subscription service but not for you and I. So the typical Ubuntu release has a support period of nine months. When that support period is over, you're supposed to go to the newest version of Ubuntu and then you continue getting support. But if you want a longer support period, you'll go and use an LTS release. LTS releases are great on web servers, for example, where you want to go and deploy your operating system, keep getting security updates, but you don't want to have to worry about switching to a new operating system every single year. But in some instances, even a five-year support period is not going to be long enough. Maybe you want, say, a 10-year support period where you can just deploy it, it keeps getting updates, and you're pretty much good to go. Well, this is where Ubuntu Pro comes in. 
10 year security coverage. Ubuntu Pro currently in public beta expands our famous 10 year security coverage to an additional 23,000 packages beyond the main operating system. So when they say beyond the main operating system, this isn't just covering security patches in the main Ubuntu repos. The thing that changed recently is now it is including Ubuntu Universe. So Ubuntu Pro basically just adds an extra five years onto your LTS support period. But much like with your regular LTS releases, you're not getting a bunch of feature updates as these patches roll in. It's gonna be for things like CVEs and zero day vulnerabilities. It's gonna make sure the applications stay secure. But if there's some big feature added in the next version of an application, that is not going to be happening with Ubuntu Pro. Now, Ubuntu Pro itself is not new. The universe coverage is, but the program has existed for a while and is used by NVIDIA, VMware, Google Cloud, and a bunch of other companies out there. The big thing that happened recently, though, is it entered its public beta. And surely an extra five years of coverage is going to cost a lot of money. Well, as I mentioned before, it's not going to cost you any money. It is free for personal use. Anyone can use Ubuntu Pro for free on up to five machines, or 50 if you're an official Ubuntu community member. Now, much like with everything that Red Hat does, it does require you signing up for an account and, you know, giving them a bit of your data. But this isn't a paid subscription service unless you're going above that range or you're a company. Now, depending on what you're looking for, it can get very expensive very quickly, but I don't know if this is, like, unreasonable pricing for doing something like this. It definitely seems expensive when it comes to looking at this as a uh, individual though. So why was this Ubuntu Pro message in apt then? Well, people first started seeing this in late September, early October. They actually put this out a little bit too early because originally the link didn't actually work. And when did Ubuntu Pro go into its open beta? early October. So Canonical has this news feed where they post things about Ubuntu updates and they release this service that is completely free for individuals and it's directly related to updates. So they announce the fact they have this update service in their update news feed and then people get angry that they're getting news in their update news feed. Now, I'll grant the fact that this is an ad, but let's imagine this in a slightly different way. Let's say that I have a video update feed where every single video that I post is going to be in that feed. And then at the side, I'm gonna start selling shirts. These aren't just any random shirts. They are shirts directly related to my channel, directly related to the videos that I'm making. And then I decide I have this update feed. Let's announce the fact that I'm selling shirts in this feed. Is this an ad? Yes. But is it a problem that I'm using the update feed to announce something directly related to the thing that is normally in that feed? And I feel exactly the same way about the Ubuntu Pro ad, and I don't think there's anything wrong with them, you know, having a bit of a joke when people freak out about something that doesn't actually matter. Now, with all that being said, it is only true if they keep doing what they are currently doing now, talking about things directly related to Ubuntu. If they start doing what they were doing with the old message of the day where they were saying, hey, go check out this thing about macOS and Kubernetes and this Tech Republic article, I will be leading the charge, yelling about how stupid this is and how it shouldn't be included in the distro. But if you want people to be taking your complaints seriously, don't freak out about something that doesn't matter whatsoever. Hold your anger for things that are actually important. It is not collecting user data. It's not advertising something completely unrelated like a McDonald's ad. It is using a newsfeed for what a newsfeed should be used for. It is just as bad as a man page advertising an online wiki. I just don't care and I'm not going to get angry about it. Now, I know some people are going to disagree, but if you really don't like this, just go and use a different distro. Plenty of them exist even other Ubuntu-based distros, because Canonical is not going to stop mentioning their other Ubuntu-related services exist. They are a corporate distro, and they want you to use their other services so they can make money. 
So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I guess I'll grab the MSI hat and then we can end it off like that. So if you like this video, remember to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, Scribe Stellar Barrow Pay, link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robinson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.